Irish. <laughs> Welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. Today I'm going to do something I've never done before, which is a diptych to um, 12 by 24 panels. We're going to do a bloom Dutch style pour uh, and see what happens. So what I've done is on my cake spinner, I put a bigger board on top and then I put these two boards on top of that. My base color today is Sherwin-Williams Color To Go Tricorn Black. We're gonna be using a mix of pigments and golden fluid colors because I'm tired of adjusting my different pouring mediums when I use two paints or not. So we're gonna, oh wait, I almost fell. We're gonna give this a try. So let's talk about colors. My pouring medium, I've basically been using Bare 8300, which is a red and white can, with Joe Sonia gloss mixed four to one. So when I do the four to one, I just put in um, a bit of the color that I want until it gets to a good color. For the pigments, I put about an ounce of the Josonia in my four ounce cup, put in my pigments, disperse them, and then add basically three to one. So they're all the same. Let's talk about colors. We're gonna start with the golden titanium white in my pouring medium on the bottom, just cause I'm using a black, and I'm gonna start from dark to light. So I have this um, gold, golden fluid permanent dark violet. Then we'll do a pigment, this is a custom I don't, don't have that much left. This is a custom color I made with pigments, uh, with my favorite pigments, this little piggy from fluidart.co. I mixed Nightfall, Grenache, and a bit of purple ink to make it darker. Next, we have Quinacridone Magenta. And then we have another pigment, this is a uh, this is sequence, a pink interference. I love interference colors. They give a great 3D. Um, a new pigment I haven't tried, which is this really pretty purple, which is called Enchantment from Fluid Art Company. And then we have a mango pigment. I'm going to be using a silver cell activator today. I'm using Atelier Interactive Silver. Um, I'm using the Shelly Art recipe. Please take the class link in my bio, 15% off for all you special people. I love the class. <clears throat> I love the people. So the plan is to, I'm going to do a diagonal line this way. Okay. And with all my colors, I'm going to put, I'm not going to put the cell activator all the way down at first because it can start to sink. So the part I'm gonna blow out first, I'll put cell activator, then blow it out. I'm using my regular hair dryer today, just this Revlon, I don't even know if it's gonna work. Now, normally when you're doing a Dutch pour, as you know, I'm not, I have only done like three, but you want the paints really thin. These paints are thicker and I haven't even thinned them out, so I'm not even sure it's gonna work. The reason I didn't thin them out is because I wasn't prepared for this. So we're just gonna use my usual mix, see what happens. Um, so in my diagonal line, my plan is to kind of blow, 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 spin, gorgeous, right? Hopefully. Okay. So let's get to work. So this is the middle here. So I want to make sure, and I'm, I don't want to put too much paint down, uh, if that's possible, you know, that's also very hard for me. All right. So we got the white down I'm going to get them out of the way. Let's violet. I really have no idea if this is going to work. This got a little thick. So because they're a little thick, I'm going to drizzle them like this. So they're not too thick. All right, then I'll do my custom pigment, which is also really thick. So I'm going to drizzle that one down. I really like this color I made. It's unfortunate that I have to make some more because it's kind of a pain, but it's worth it. So I'm layering um, pigments in between my acrylic paints. I really want my pigments to hold up nicely. Here's the magenta. And here is the sequins, the interference color. Let me just mix it up a bit. Okay. 
Okay. And um, I have, okay, so on one side, I'm going to do the enchantment. On the other side, I'll do a bit of mango. Or maybe, you know what? I'll, hmm. Yeah, let's try that, right? Do we want to do that? Sure. So on this half, I'll do enchantment. The other half, I don't want the mango to take over. Now, I have to think of what I'm going to top this off with because I don't, I want to layer a two paint under my cell activator. So what's a good option here? I suppose I could do a touch of white. Um, why don't I do purple on one side and white on the other? Do we think that's a good idea? Which side would I do the, oh, Sneakers wants to come in and bug us. Okay, hold on, I have to get Sneakers. Or else he's just gonna bark at the door the whole time. Sneakers and Penny, the Great Dane and the Maltese, the best duo. Okay, so as I was saying, what is my plan here? Uh, why don't, okay, yeah, I'll put a little bit of purple on top of this one and a little bit of the white on top of the other one and hopefully this makes a difference. Okay, now for the fun part, or scary part, because um, I really want to think about this. Yeah, okay, well, let's just get to work, right? All right, so I'm gonna put my cell activator on one half, then blow it out, <clears throat> and then do the other half. So here I am, let me get my blow dryer ready. Okay, here we go. And the shape I want, I'm gonna go like that. Oh, we'll, we'll try. We'll see what happens. Okay. Got that down. Most of my colors blew out, so that's something. Okay, I'll fix it in a minute. Let me continue. So I'm gonna go that way. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's just go for it, right? Okay, there we go. That just looks like a hot mess. Um, what are we gonna do, you might ask? Okay, I'm gonna blow this out further. Still looking weird. Let me get in there. Breaking up the cell activator a little bit. The shape isn't ideal. All right, let's take a look. Well, since we have no choice, let's just get to it, right? I'm not gonna tilt it too much. I'm just gonna see what it does at first. Um, and then we will make our decision if this is keeper or not. 
I'm thinking not. Okay, so hold on, let me see. Um, okay, so I'm thinking that this is the direction it will be. I'm not going to separate the boards yet. I'm going to spin them out. All right, let's, let's do it. Now, I see it's tilting down this way a bit. So, let's get it more this way. And, whoop, didn't mean to do that. Okay, here we go. At this point, you just gotta hope for the best. Which is not looking great. Okay, paint's starting to come down the sides. I'm gonna cover them a bit. mango and the pinks look nice together so that's good to know okay this is the part i wanted to cover um how are we looking okay Open it up a bit more. This might be quite ugly, guys. All right. Um, all right, let's just separate them and see, right? Come on. look at what we got here. Just fix this a bit. Okay. Well. You know, I'm not too sure what's going on here. Um, is it strange? Is it interesting here this is how I would look at it um, I don't know you guys it's really weird it's like what is it doing you know what I think these corners need to go off so I'm gonna spin it a bit more Let's see if we can spin more. All right. I see a little bloop in the paint. Hold on. It's always something. I don't know why it's making me kind of lift it off. Got it. That was easy. Okay. Um, which way are we looking here? Nope. Do I still like it this way? I think I do. Okay. You know what, guys? 
I don't hate this. I think it's kind of interesting. It's definitely different than what I normally do. I'll do a close up. You guys will tell me what you think. Thanks for sticking with me. That was stressful. Bye guys.